Okay, so for the accessory work, you've got weighted glute bridges and single leg deadlifts. So for the weighted glute bridge, it's just a glute bridge, feet on the floor, and you're going to add a weight by sitting it at your hips. Okay, so plant your heels about hip to shoulder width apart, push your heels into the ground, keep your core nice and tight, push your hips up towards the ceiling. Okay, now this is going to be an aim on, so effectively you'll do as many glute bridges as you can on the first minute and then on the next minute you're going to do as many single leg deadlifts as you can but just reminding you that this accessory work is for quality okay so don't worry about how many hundreds of reps maybe consider going a little heavier instead if you are limited by the weights that you have at home then obviously uh, it flips over and it becomes maybe it is more about more reps okay but if you've got the option for heavier weight use it for the single leg deadlifts you can hold a weight in each hand you could hold a bar uh, or if you've only got one weight i don't mind which hand you hold it in okay doesn't matter so much you might want to switch chop and change like one round hold it in the opposite hand another round hold it in the same side okay when you go to initiate this movement make sure you initiate by pushing your hip back behind your heel not too much bend in your leg allow your other leg to come up behind you and come back to standing this movement is as much about balance and coordination as it is about strengthening your uh, glutes and your hamstrings okay so when you're doing this work on that balance okay think push your big toe into the ground allow you think about this leg that's lifting up behind you at the back try and work on the balance and in turn you'll work on the strength as well